Here's a story you will only see on Crown 4. Our tech reporter Gabe Slate shows us how a Bay Area high school is using new technology to enhance their yearbook. Technology has worked its way into every facet of our life. It's changing everything, even the old classic yearbook. Benicia High School is the first in Northern California to implement augmented reality into their yearbook. After they pass out the yearbooks, they're going to have the kids download a free app to their phone or tablet, and then that app can bring the book to life. Scattered throughout the yearbook are pictures that have this little play symbol. You hold your mobile device running the app over the picture, and then it comes to life with a 50-second video. People can not only look at pictures and stills and try and feel emotions and stuff, but they can see the real emotions that went on. And, um, and even hear some of it. So they can either recall memories that they remember or they can look and say, oh, that looks like it was really fun for them or that they enjoyed themselves and really um, get a big, a very big picture of what went on in this school this year and how it affected everybody. Here's a couple examples. There's a picture of a sporting event in the yearbook. Now through the app, it can come to life and you can see people playing the game. Maybe hear your old school cheer or song. Or you know how the yearbooks always had pictures of the plays that were put on. This way you could see actual video of the performance. It makes the book like a virtual reality experience. Watching videos is very now and the internet and smartphones and apps are very now. And so technology is now and everybody's using it. So I feel like it's very, um, very user friendly. And from a yearbook standpoint as well, like everybody wants to get as many people featured in the yearbook as possible. Mm -hmm. So when we heard about videos, we figured why take one picture and capture three or four students when you can take a video and capture 20. Gabriel Slate, Cron 4 News.